What is up YouTube fam and welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Gabrielle and we are back today to do our April monthly budget. I'm super excited. We have a few changes. We're increasing a few categories and I also set up my calendar view. So I'm gonna be showing you guys that this month. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Gabrielle. Here on the channel, guys, you will see me digging my family out of debt. We should be debt free by mid this year. And I am just budgeting, cash stuffing my way to debt freedom and financial freedom. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in the community. And if you're coming back, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys so much for the support. So guys, we're gonna just hop right into it today. I am using the Elevated Life Co Planner for my budgeting needs this year, where I set up my monthly views my monthly budget as well as paycheck budgets i will have a link down in the description for this planner let's go ahead and open on up to the month of april and we're going to talk monthly view you guys i have been abandoning my monthly view well showing it here on youtube i have definitely been setting it up but i haven't been using stickers and all the good things that i used to do if you're og to the channel you know that i love sticker budgeting and that's where i actually started from but i have strayed away from it especially from this monthly view um, and so forth because I feel like I've gotten to the point in my budgeting journey you guys where I don't necessarily need this But I still love a good spread. Okay, beautiful spread So here is where I lay down all of my paydays and my bills that are due plus I'm also going to talk goals and um, a few exciting things we have going on this month. So First things first is paydays because I always like to start with my income I went and marked my paydays with these beautiful transparent like icon payday icons these stickers are from breezy's budget soft on etsy i will link her down in the description if you want to hit her up her shop she is still selling stickers and so forth so we get paid four times this month and i went ahead and marked those in that is normal for us every once in a while we'll get a five paycheck month but not this month and what cause for concern you guys is our last paycheck is on the 20th so we have to make this last paycheck stretch to the end of the month which is the 30th we won't get paid until probably that weekend so that is a cause you know for concern for myself i want us to know and just you know just keep that in mind as we're going next i like to move on to all of our bills and i went ahead and marked all of the bills that we have in the due dates honestly you guys i don't even really need this anymore when I started my budgeting journey, it was really helpful to know when bills came out and so forth. But right now, I have gotten to a point in my budget where I pretty much automate everything. And we have a big buffer in our account, almost a one month ahead account as well. So that money already is there setting for these bills to come out. So like I said, for my journey, I don't really use this as much, but I went ahead and marked it just to show you guys what I normally do when I started my budgeting journey here on YouTube anyways. So neither here nor there, that is it for the spread. Next, I wanted to go to my goals. You guys, I have three goals that I'm setting this month. I have pretty much gotten away from goal setting monthly and I need to get back on it. So this month I would like to be under our food budget. You know that food is going up. So I did up our budget. So I we should be able to stay under our food budget this month. And my next goal is to put $100 to my Roth IRA challenge. If you have not heard already, I am doing a max it out savings challenge where we, where I am encouraging ladies in the community to contribute to those Roth IRAs this year and max them out, do something for our future selves. Just invest in ourselves basically. So I'm gonna contribute 100 to that this month. I'm hoping to scrounge that up maybe via savings challenge. And then my last goal, you guys, is to put $2,000 to debt. And that is a little bit less than I normally have been putting. But we have some things going on this month that we're going to talk about soon. So next is our brain dump section. And this is where I'm putting all my, you know, fun or exciting activities that are happening this month. So first things first is we have our spring break. My girls are on spring break towards the end of this month for like a whole week. So I have to prepare for that. That's gonna be extra cost. Cause you know, I wanna do something with them and so forth. So spring break is a thing, that's a week. And then my daughter is turning nine this month. Her birthday's mid-April, so I'm super excited about that. So I put a little extra money in our sinking funds this month for that. Speaking of birthdays, you guys, I wanted to shout out my oldest daughter who just recently had a birthday. Her birthday was last week, last Friday. And I'm just, y'all, I have a 14-year-old, you guys. It's unbelievable. Um, I had her very young, you guys. And for her to be, you know, just such a good well-behaved, well-mannered, respectable, in her own right daughter. Like, I'm just happy and proud 
to see how far we have come. She was, you know, she's my baby. She's my first one. So happy birthday to my daughter. I might pop a pic too. You know how that it goes. So that is that for the monthly view, you guys. Let's get into the nitty gritty and talk numbers which is one of my favorite parts. I love this monthly view. I know a lot of people don't do monthly budgets, but I love my monthly budget, you guys. I just can't help it. All right, guys, so we are here. Let's go ahead and get started. I like to start with my income first. That is the most important. You wanna know how much money you have coming in, and that is the foundation of your budget for sure. Me and my husband do combine our salaries. We do all of our money joint. Um, he does have a personal account. I have a personal account, but for the most part, most of our money goes into a one bank joint account and we pay the bills from that. So I like to combine our salaries here. Um, this is not our entire salary, you guys. This is just what I am willing to share with YouTube. So for this month, we are bringing in $7,300 and $24 even. And that is our incomes. Next is variable variable income. And I'm not gonna put anything here. I normally don't budget for it because I don't want to depend on that money, but I like to include it, especially when I close out my budget for like any extra money that I put towards my sinking fund so that all the numbers add up. So that is pretty much my YouTube income. My Etsy income, you guys, I am just keeping that offline because I haven't got it figured out and got a good handle on it, how I want to handle it, but you will probably see that in the future. So total income that we are working for, working with for the month is $7,324. Next, you guys, I go to my fixed expenses and these are those hardcore bills. Dave Ramsey likes to call them your four walls. <laughs> so these are bills that are like non-negotiable. We we need this stuff. We might not need all of it, but they're regular bills that I pay regularly. So I put a lot of different things into mine. So first we're gonna start off with HOA and HOA is gonna be $85. We do own a home, but I do not include my mortgage in my YouTube budgets. Just something to keep it a little bit private for myself. Next is electric. Guys, electric is going up this month. I normally budget 200, but now I am budgeting 250 because the last two months, our electric bills have been high. I've heard from a lot of people that their electric bills have went up as well. So I guess it's not only me, maybe the price of electricity went up. I'm not sure. Inflation, all this stuff going on. It is what it is. So we're going up. We're feeling it. We're feeling it. Next is going to be water. And water and sewer is going to be 120. And basically, um, we pay quarterly for these for the our sewer, but our water comes out every month, and that runs about sixty dollars. And our sewer is about sixty dollars each month too, and we pay it every three months. Like I just paid a bill for our, our sewer. So next is going to be our phone bill, and phone bill is going to be one hundred and seventy dollars, which has went down a lot because I paid off my phone. My husband's on his way to pay off his phone, you guys but I'm not sure. I think he may get another phone, y'all. <laughs> I told him it will bring our phone bill down so much more if you just don't get another phone. But he's like, oh, I want a new phone. I get it. It is what it is. Next is going to be cable and internet. And that is going to be 215, which is very high. I need to negotiate that. I keep saying I'm going to do it and I have not done it yet. You guys hold me to it. Hold me to it. Next is going to be our highest fixed expense here, and that is child care, and that is going to come in at $724. I do have a two-year-old as well, in case you didn't know, and she goes to daycare, and she, y'all, she is learning so much. She is a chatter box and she says like everything the other day I was bent down and I was struggling to get her shoe on, and I finally got her shoe on, and she was like, There we go. I'm like, what? <laughs> Y'all, she and her new word is because she learned how to say because and use it in a sentence. Y'all, she is she's blowing me away with like everything that she knows. But she does have two big sisters that, you know, talk to her and teach her all types of things. So thank God for them. <laughs> Next, you guys, is going to be life insurance. And that is one hundred and fifty dollars. Me and my husband both have two policies and they are term life. We don't have whole life. Um, I know some people like whole life. Me personally, I like term life. I feel like by the time I pay on these on these term life policies for 20 years, I should be able to fund my own funeral and take care of my kids and all the other stuff. But we have some pretty hefty policies in case something happened to us. I encourage everyone to get those. Next is going to be car insurance and car insurance is going to be 120. Not bad at all. I love my car insurance rate for two cars. 
120. We pretty much safe drivers. We haven't gotten into any accidents in who knows how long. So doing pretty good or gotten any tickets, which is awesome. Lord, I need to stop because watch, I'll get a ticket in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, security is going to be next, and that is just our home security system, and that is $50 a month. Next is subscriptions, and that is all the Canva, YouTube, premium for my husband, all of these things that we have. Like, it's a lot. It adds up. I need to go through, scrub them. I had scrubbed them and got them down, but I do also include my gym membership. So that's going to be $170 for subscriptions. Next is going to be my girls activities. And this is one that hits the pockets. It is going to get $290 this month. Both of my younger girls are in swim and my oldest daughter is in like a group um, art club group type thing. So that that stuff costs y'all. It's, it's hefty. I did want to brag about my middle daughter. You guys, she's doing phenomenal in swim like she is she's doing pretty good she's moved up like three levels she can swim on her back like she learned really quick so i'm glad that we got her the swim lessons next is going to be car loan and that is our last debt you guys and we're just going to put the minimum of 440 to that once we add all of this up you guys we get a total amount of two thousand seven hundred and eighty four dollars for um our total fixed expenses we subtract this from our total income which is seven thousand three hundred and twenty four and we get remaining four thousand five hundred and forty dollars next we move over to our variable expenses and these are things that you can kind of fluctuate you can make adjustments to if you need to so like groceries food personal money anything miscellaneous spending and stuff of that nature so for the first one i have my first category is groceries and we are upping that by $50 this month. We're gonna have $850. That gives us about 200 and a few dollars a week to spend on groceries. This does include household, which I am still buying diapers. The babies find a little bit interest in potty training. So hopefully diapers will be a thing of the past very soon. <laughs> but I do include all my household toiletries and everything into my grocery budget. Next is going to be eating out, and y'all, I'm a working mom. I'm a I'm a businesswoman on the side. Got side businesses and things, so we do eat out regularly. We try to limit it, but you know it is what it is. So four hundred dollars is what we're getting for that. Okay, guys, I am back. I got cut off for a second, y'all. My husband just called me to make a joke about the Will Smith, Chris Rock debacle. What do you guys think about that? Did you see it live? I didn't see it live. I only seen the playback. And honestly, I wouldn't even known the Oscars was on had I not been on social media and seen that stuff. Beyonce was what sold it for me. Like everybody was talking about Beyonce. I was like, oh, I had no idea. Like I didn't even know about the Oscars. It was a crazy thing, but I think it was real. Do y'all think what was real was the stage? Because I kind of feel like it was a little staged just because he was laughing at first and then he just gets up out of nowhere or maybe he just didn't get the joke in time i'm kind of like that too like sometimes you don't you're just laughing and then you're like hold up that was an insult so i don't know anyways let's get back to the budget <laughs> so anyways gas is going up this month as well we're gonna get a total of 300 dollars for gas i'm not even sure if this is gonna be enough you guys but hopefully it will Next, we're going to move on to personal money, and that is just pocket money for me and my husband, and that is going to be $400. We get about $200 a piece each month, and y'all, I did look through my expenses, and y'all, I'm not spending any money on personal. Only money that I'm really spending on personal is Starbucks. Like, I think I spent like $30 last month at Starbucks, and... I haven't really bought much. Most of the stuff that I've been buying has been like budget stuff, and I've used my YouTube income to purchase that stuff, you know, as a business expense. So I, my husband is y'all, he's been racking up the dollar. So I'm gonna stop coming from him though. I'm gonna stop coming from him because he's been doing good. <laughs> no, not doing good. He's, he's a great husband, you guys. So next we're going to move on to beauty and beauty is going to get $300 and that is for hair, nails, all the things, you know, so $300 for that this month. Next is going to be girls allowance and girls are going to get $80 for the month. And that is $20 a week. And my middle daughter, y'all, she has been in my business and she wants to budget y'all. She came to me the other day and she was like, mom, 
I want to get a notebook so I can budget my allowance. And y'all, this just made me so proud. I'm just, I'm just super excited that she's getting into budgeting, even though she, before she called it boring. So look forward to Brielle coming to a channel near you, coming to the channel. Okay. Next, we're going to add this all up. And these variable expenses come out to $2,330. If you subtract the 2330 from our remaining after fixed expenses, which was $4,540, we have a total of $2,210 left. And I wanted to stop and just talk about this $2,210 and let you guys know, this is how I'm able to pay a lot towards debt. We have a lot of leftover income after we have taken care of the necessities. And I think some people like to call it disposable income, but I don't like to call it disposable. Maybe additional income, discretionary income. I don't know the exact word for it, but this is the money that we have left over. This is a good sign, you guys, that we are living beneath our means when we have money left over to put towards other financial goals. So this is a big important factor. I know not everybody has this and it's taken a while to get here. Like we have progressed to this. We had lots of debts where we were paying in flux of $1,800 in debt payments a month. So just want to let you guys know that, that we have been working hard. We have gotten raises and things, and that is how we're able to pay. This has been a long journey. It's not overnight at all. So this $2,210 is going to go towards our savings and debt. So for the debt and savings, I decided to move sinking funds from our variable expenses down to savings because it is savings. Um, you know, it's adding up and we do spend out of it monthly, but they're still adding up. So sinking funds is going to get a total of $450 this month. And a lot of that, you guys, is going towards my daughter's birthday. I think about $250 and then $200 regular dollars are going to toward our actual sinking funds. So $450 is going to sinking funds. Next is going to be our savings challenges. And we're going to put about $200 to our savings challenges. And last but not least is our debt snowball. And we're going to put an additional $1,560 to our debt snowball, which is not as much as we normally put, but we do have a lot of things going on this month. And that's just how the cookie has crumbled <laughs> this month. So once you add all of this up, you get a total of $2,210. And that is from that remaining amount, which leaves us with zero dollars i do like to do a zero based budget and give every one of my dollars a name you guys this is how the month is going to happen i will put a little disclaimer you guys this is how i plan for the month to go it does not always go exactly as planned things happen things change and so forth so have you started your monthly budget for the month of April, I'm a little late, I feel, getting mine up, but better late than never, but I'm ready to start the new month. We got our last paycheck of March. I seen it in somebody's videos, like when, when you get that last paycheck in March, the month is over. You started over a new month. It was so funny. So that is it. That is all. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in the community. Go ahead and smash that like button for your girl. And don't forget to stop by my Etsy shop, you guys. I have loads of things in there, um, adding new things as time progresses. We have the Max It Out Challenge. We still have our Boss Up Secure the Bag Saving Challenge. We have the Debt Diary. We have trackers and all the things. So go check out my Etsy shop. I appreciate all the support this week. You guys blew up my shop a little bit this week and I really appreciate it. So if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a flower because April flowers, okay? Oh no, is it April showers? No, leave me some rain. Y'all, I'm all, <laughs> I'm all wrong. April showers. So leave me some rain in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you on my next video, which should be my cash unstuffing for the month of March, I'm going to unstuff my sinking funds and I'm going to do a bill exchange and all the fun things. So you'll see more cash stuffing content coming soon. Have a good day, guys. Love you. Bye, guys.